What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today I'm going to be showing you how to set a dynamic wallpaper on your iPhone on iOS 15. That way your wallpaper changes every single day or every time you perform a specific action. And I made this video for iOS 14 last year, but things have changed with iOS 15 and a lot of you guys have been requesting me to make an updated guide on how to do this. So here we are. So we're going to start off by showing you how it works and then we'll get into how to create your own automation to change your wallpaper automatically on iOS 15. And what I like to do on my main device is have my wallpaper change every morning at sunrise because I like being able to wake up to a new wallpaper every single day. It's just very satisfying for me. But just to show you guys the automation in action and just kind of how it works, I set it up to change every time I go into my recording a video focus mode right here. So if I go ahead and disable this, and if I go ahead and re-enable that, we go back to my home screen, you will see that the wallpaper will change. So there we go, the wallpaper did change. It took a while that first time. It doesn't usually take that long, so let's try it again and see if the wallpaper changes quicker. So here we go, I just set it, and there we go. You can see it changes a little bit quicker that time. So the more you run it, the quicker it actually changes the wallpaper. And notice how I got a notification after running that shortcut automation. I will show you how to disable notifications for the shortcuts application in this video as well and before we get into this i did also want to mention that if you want a good place to find really good high quality wallpapers my discord server the apple den is the best place for that and i'm not even being biased it's really awesome i actually find wallpapers in there myself that are sourced by other members in the discord server so make sure to join that via the link down in the description below and head to the wallpaper channel to find a lot of cool wallpapers i also offer wallpaper packs for members of the channel so one of the perks of becoming a member is that you get quarterly wallpaper drops that include 20 to 30 wallpapers that i personally use on my devices and that i show off in my videos all right, so now that we have all of that covered, let's go ahead and talk about how to set up your iPhone on iOS 15 to change your wallpaper automatically based on the time of day or based on a certain action. So let's go ahead into the shortcuts application right here. We're going to tap on the plus up in the top right corner. And we're going to tap on add action. And then from here, let's go to the search tab up top and we're going to search for find photos. So you'll see it under media, find photos. Go ahead and tap on that. We're going to tap on add filter and you can see it shows find all photos where album is recent, but we don't want our backgrounds being from our recent photos. Otherwise it's going to show like screenshots and pictures of, you know, ourselves and other people. We don't want that being our background. So we want to set that to, for me, I have a wallpaper album in my photos application. So if you don't have an album for wallpapers, you need to make one inside of the photos application and set this to your wallpaper album. And you can see my wallpapers album is right here with 112 photos. And if you wanted to add an album and create your own wallpapers album, just tap on the plus right here and then new album. But these are all of mine. You can see it's full of just wallpapers, which is what we need for this to work properly. All right, so after you have that set up and you have your wallpapers album selected, we want to go to sort by and change this to random. So you want it to be randomly changing throughout all of your different wallpapers in that album. And we don't need there to be a limit. So from here, we wanna go down to the search and we're gonna search for another action inside of shortcuts. And this is going to be for set wallpaper. So let's search for set wallpaper. And you'll see under scripting, it's right here. Simply tap on that. And then you can see it says set lock screen and home screen wallpaper to photos. Now, if you wanted to change this to just your home screen or just your lock screen, you can do that right there by simply unchecking one of them. So I like to have mine set to lock screen and home screen. And then you could just leave that at photos right there. But you want to tap on this little arrow and disable show preview. All right. So once we have that set up, we can go ahead and name our shortcut right here. So let's name it to dynamic wallpapers or whatever you want to name it to. I like changing mine to dynamic wallpaper or dynamic wallpapers and tap on done. And you can see that is the name of our shortcut. You could also change the icon if you want to. That is not important at all. And then we are done from here. You could tap on these little settings right here as well to see additional options, but you don't need to do anything in here. So now what we want to do is go back out of here. Let's go ahead and X out of all of this. We have our wallpaper or our shortcut rather set up right there. But now we want to go into automation, the automation tab down here at the bottom. And here's where the magic really happens. So you can see this is the one I had set up in the beginning. When I turn on that focus mode, it changes my wallpaper, but we're going to create a new one from scratch. So let's tap on plus up in the top right create personal automation. And here's where you select when you want your wallpaper to change. So like I said, me personally on my personal device, 
I have mine change at the top of the morning at sunrise every day. So if you wanted to do that, we're just gonna go into time of day right here, sunrise, or of course you could have it set to a specific time if you want to, or if you want it to be before or after sunrise. I like doing mine at sunrise, tap on done, and you can have your wallpaper change either daily, weekly, or monthly, and then tap on next. And from here, we're going to tap on add action, and we're going to search for run shortcut. So you should see it right there under scripting, run shortcut, simply tap on that. We're gonna tap on the little spot right there, and we're going to search for the shortcut that we just made. So dynamic wallpaper is the one I just made. There we go. Let's tap on next. We're going to disable ask before running. Don't ask, tap on done. And there we go. Now every morning at sunrise, my wallpaper will change automatically. And like I mentioned, you can have many different triggers. So it doesn't just have to be based on the time of day. You know, you could also set it up to be when you arrive at a certain location, when you leave a certain location, when you connect to Wi-Fi, when you hit a certain you know power mode, when you plug your phone in to charge, when you go in or out of a focus mode. You know, there's a lot of different things you can set up in here to trigger when your wallpaper changes automatically. And if you wanted to delete or disable an automation, you could just simply swipe over right here and you can delete that automation easily. Or if you wanted to disable it, just simply go ahead into here and disable, enable this automation and it will no longer run every day or every week, whatever you have it set up to do. Now, I did also want to show you guys how to disable the notifications from the shortcuts application, because every time your automation runs and your wallpaper changes automatically, you will get a notification similar to this. So to disable that, you want to go ahead into your settings, go down to screen time. You want to make sure you have screen time turned on. We're going to go into see all activity and then go all the way down to the bottom until you see notifications and you should see shortcuts gave you a notification right there. If not, just run the automation again until you get that notification and then you will see it right here. So you'll notice that I cannot tap on this to disable my notifications. So to get past that, just tap on daily average a few times. You may have to switch the date up until you can click on it. I'm just gonna go over to day right here and then go down to notifications. You can see that opened it up so I can go ahead into here. I'm just going to disable allow notifications. And now every time I run the automation, I will not get a notification from the shortcuts application. So anyways, guys, there you have it. That is a simple way to automatically change your wallpapers based on a time of day or based on a certain trigger here in iOS 15. I know it's kind of different from the iOS 14 version, so I did wanna make an updated guide from my iOS 14 video that a lot of people seem to like last year. So if you guys did enjoy this and if you're enjoying your dynamic wallpapers, I would appreciate if you gave this video a thumbs up. And of course, make sure to subscribe for a lot more iOS 15 tips and tricks like this one. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.